morning and welcome my name is Sussex Sandra welcome to my channel so as you all know that this week I am literally going to be filming a review of some sort every day this week today I'm not doing an unboxing I'm actually going to be doing a product review now this one I actually feel a little bit apologetic for so basically whilst I was away QVC because for those of you who watch my channel regularly know that I'm a bit of a shopaholic when it comes to QVC UK Anyway, so QVC did a today special value and it was a Laura Geller special value and it was featuring a liquid foundation. Now, I, I did have to have a quick look on the website to see what the shades were because Laura Geller is not exactly known for her, let's just say, a vast shade range, especially for those of us who've got a little bit more melanin in our skin. But it seems like this foundation did have quite a few shades. So I wasn't going to mess about, I just ordered the deepest shade she had had so I have purchased it now before I continue um, I want to put on because I haven't got anything in my face at the moment all I've done is just cleanse my face so I'm just going to put my toner on and then um, I'll carry on talking about the product whilst the toner dries the toner I'm going to use today is the one that was received in the ASOS August beauty box and it's the one by Rodal Dragon's Blood Hyaluronic Tonic so I've never tried anything like this before so I'm just going to put this on dry on my face whilst I talk about the product so so the product came um, it came whilst I was away this is the box and as I said it's the Laura Geller TSV and it was it was called foundations fundamental and the product it featured the main product in the box was this foundation the foundation is called oh what's it called it's called the uh, filter first luminous foundation on the back of the box it says it's hashtag no filter needed after blending on our pearl infused light diffusing filter first luminous foundation powered by illumi smooth trademark technology the foundation creates the perfect canvas for your most effortlessly i tr i struggle with that word effortlessly radiant look all you have to do is add a coat of lash plumping mascara and a swipe of lip color to complete your look so we're going to be trying that out today um, for those of you who don't know um, obviously I'm an older woman but I've also got hyperpigmentation so you know just some blemishes around my face and um, I've got extremely oily skin the foundation doesn't seem to say what kind of finish it gives so I don't know if it gives a matte finish but it does say luminous quite a bit so I'm assuming it's going to be a, a glowy dewy look so based on that information I'm going to prep my skin with as much uh, mattifying products as possible so I put the tonic on first because that is supposed to be hydrating I'm now going to put on a um, well, I'm going to try something new so this is the cream that came in the pink um, pink parcel box this month and it's by Supermed it's a, a clear face mattifying cream so I'm going to try a little bit of this on my face see how I get along with this not too much because I don't want my face to be glowing to the gold leader and then I will put on a primer as well okay it doesn't seem to be um, a, a greasy feel product it does feel like it has got some drying properties I know the feel when I've got a, um, a mattifying primer a decent mattifying primer it does have this kind of feel so it has some sort of resistance when you're putting it on your skin so this cream does do that um, yeah, it's, taken, it's definitely taken some of the shine away from my face, so that's good. The primer I am going to use, I should double prime today, really, shouldn't I? But the primer I'm going to do first is, because I can't find my Becca Ever Matte Poolless Primer at all. I don't know where that product is. Obviously, I put it somewhere before I went away on holiday. No idea where I put it. So I'm just going to put the Illumasca Matte Veil on, which is another good mattifying primer. So let me put that on next. But I've nearly finished this look it's nearly finished right so that's the first primer I do normally double prime so the second primer I'm going to put on is one of the Laura Geller primers I did have a um, an oil control one I don't know if I've still got it yes I have so it's a speckle mattifying oil control under makeup primer I don't know if they still sell this on QVC but it is, it is where I got it from so I'm going to put some of this on as well 
Right. Now, let's read about the product, shall we? So this is what you get inside the box. It is, let's have a quick look. I've got it in the deepest shade available. And that was mahogany. As I said, I wasn't gonna mess about. So what you got was the foundation, you got a mascara, so it's their Glam Lash Mascara. I actually really like this mascara. And um, they gave you a lip color. It seems to be like some sort of lip balm. This mascara, I've received this in another Laura Geller TSV before, but I had to return the whole collection because I remember, I think it was the Balance and Glow powder. That was an absolute disaster. I'll put a link to that video up above there. But yeah, but that collection was a disaster on my skin. It was just so grey and so shiny. It was horrid. So I'm really hoping better things with this. The colour does look promising, I must say. On the TSV, they were selling the whole collection for, I'm just looking at the invoice, for £29.98 plus £3.95 postage and packaging. So everything was £33.93, which is not bad for a foundation mascara and a lip balm of sorts. They're now selling the product, the foundation by itself, for £26. So you can see the value there. Um, the foundation came in one two three four five six seven eight nine ten it came in 12 shades which again is not bad for laura geller um the collection now costs 40 pounds plus three pound 95 and they basically say on the website that this three-piece cosmetics collection from Nora Geller features the brand new Filter First Luminous Foundation boasting a medium coverage and lightweight formula plus the popular Glam Lash Mascara and Colour Luster Lip Colour in a neutral vanilla shade. Vanilla? Hello. Oh Master the basics with this beautiful set that gives you everything you need to create a flawless base, flutter-worthy lashes and a gorgeously moisturised pout. The same the formula is buildable offering full coverage if we prefer and works to create a breathable luminous filter on your skin blurring the appearance of imperfections and creating the perfect veil for further makeup application the foundation is 30 mils in a choice of ivory porcelain buff beige medium fawn golden medium so that's all the the light skin shades covered <laughs> Then you've got caramel cognac pecan so that's the sort of the the medium to tan shades covered then you've got uh, pecan chestnut or mahogany so chestnut and mahogany are the deep skin shades basically a pearl infused light diffusing liquid foundation for an effortlessly radiant look then you've got the glam lash mascara in black 7.5 mils a volumizing mascara that works to separate thicken and lengthen the look of your lashes with a longer wearing formula then you've got the Colour Lust Luster Lip Colour in Vanilla, 3.2 grams. Warm Beige, a high shine, buttery lip colour in a universally flattering nude shade. When they say the term universal, it usually means that it's universal for all shades of beige, not for anything deeper. Sorry to say, but that's usually what it means. But I may be proved wrong when I put the product on. Right, I think everything is absorbed in. Shall we crack on and apply this product? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do one half of my face with a sponge and one half of my face with a brush. You'll have to excuse the sponge because it's kind of dirty and I haven't washed it since I've been back from holiday. So sorry about that, that's a bit nasty. This is um, an Eco Blend Bosch. This is an Eco Blend sponge. It was a it was part of a duo. I bought it from the Latest in Beauty website. I actually really like the sponge. I literally just started to look around for other sponges to use because I'm sorry, I've I've had it with Beauty Blender and they're 16 pound sponges, especially when I saw the foundation that she came out with recently and the shade range. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, have a look on the website, um, have a look on YouTube, there's a few people who have reviewed the product um, and just look at the shade range available in that foundation, it was 32 shades and there was 3 shades for deeper skin tones, 3 and there was like 25 shades that all looked the same with slightly different undertones, literally 25 shades but anyway let me put this product on and stop moaning about other products um right so we've got a sponge looking for a brush to use we will use we'll use a top brush today right here's the foundation have i got my mirror 
Right, let's give this a good shake because I'm assuming with all foundations you should shake them well to give them a good mix. So the product comes with a pump. The shade looks promising, it really does. So I'm just going to do one pump first and see what that looks like on this side of my face. I'm going to bring you in a bit closer so we can have a real good look and apply this. I haven't worn a liquid foundation in about two weeks actually. Well not two weeks, that's not, that's not right. About a week and a half since I've worn a liquid foundation. The colour looks all right, doesn't it? It might be a little bit warm, so slightly red undertone, but I know some of these big brands, when it comes to deep skin tones, they do like to put in a lot of red because they think as we get darker, the more red we are. But this isn't too bad, actually. Not bad at all. I quite like the look of this, actually. So look at that. So this is just one pump on this side of my face. Can you see? It looks all right, doesn't it? Don't you think? I'm hoping the daylight is not sort of whitening out the image too much. You know what I mean? That kind of white light. But I think it looks right. And that's how the other side of my face looks untouched. Yeah? Looks good. I'm going to put... Um, I want to see if I can build it up a bit. Because um, that is okay, the coverage. But I just want to see how much further I can build it up. See if I can give it a good medium coverage. I don't want full coverage. I just want medium. So I've just done another half pump. I'm just going to put that on this side of the face again. One of the things I saw in the, the um, reviews of this collection is that obviously most of the people who bought the foundation were um, white skinned and a lot of people bought the lighter shades and medium, I think, medium and beige based on the presenters on the day who were doing it. So the presenters were that woman Sarah from Laura Geller. I really don't like that woman. She just annoys the living daylights out of me. I do not see her as a makeup artist at all. I don't think she knows anything. But anyway, so it's her and I can't remember who the other presenter were, but they were both wearing the same shade, even though they both had slightly different undertones. And a lot of people use them as a reference in ordering their foundations. So they use what they said and what they've ordered in the Balance and Brighton. A lot of the reviews online, people have said that the shade was very orange on their skin. It seems like this product may oxidize to maybe like a shade darker and the oxidization is very orange so there's a lot of people who are very upset about the shade and what seems to be coming out from all the reviews is that they're saying whatever shade you think you are order a shade lighter because of the oxidization so if you do decide to buy this foundation whether from qvc or debnams when they decide to sell it take you no know, do consider that that you might want to go a shade lighter than you would normally in the balance and brighton but yeah i am liking how this looks with a sponge it looks nice and it's light very comfortable feels it feels comfortable it feels nice it's definitely not a heavy foundation and it looks kind of skin like as well which is it's nice um i don't have to blend it down too far down my neck because it actually matches my shade okay so quite pleased with that all right let's do the other side with the brush where's the brush i just picked up okay there's the brush so that's one pump and we'll see how easily it blends out with the brush so you can see all the little marks i've got on my face i've got a mole there i've got the spot that came up whilst i was away so it's going to take ages to disappear um yeah so we'll see and obviously you can see the sort of shadows and dark skin i've got around parts of my face but you can see the redness of the foundation as well can't you but let's blend this out and see yeah it does look like they've put a little bit too much on the foundation it looks like they've done that to all the shades actually okay um the coverage seems very similar with a brush and with the sponge, which is unusual because usually you get a fuller coverage with a brush by itself. But it does seem very similar with both. Blends out easily again. I'm going to put a little half pump again and then we'll leave it to set. I'll set my face. So just a little half pump again.
So that's how the foundation looks on my face. What do we think? Yes, it is quite red in undertone, so we've taken that into consideration. But first impressions, I do like the coverage. It is very much a, uh, a very skin-like finish. I wouldn't say that it is luminous. Um, I wouldn't say that at all. Slightly dewy, maybe, but I wouldn't go as far as saying luminous. So for those of you who have got dry skin and you are looking for that glow, this might not be a product for you, but then you could probably help it along by using a sort of a luminous or dewy primer underneath, if that would help you, because Laura Geller has got quite a few of those in her spackle range, and there's other primers out there as well. Um, you can use a moisturizer underneath, so that would probably give you the additional glow as well. What I'm gonna try and do, because it is quite red in the undertone, I'm actually going to see if I can just neutralize it a little bit with some highlighter so just excuse me whilst I do that and then I'll come back and finish the rest of the makeup using the product so back in a bit okay right so I've just put some um, under eye concealer I use the makeup revolution um, defining concealer under my eyes I use Sasha Sasha buttercup um, powder just to set around my eyes and the areas I've highlighted just gonna brush that off now helped in just neutralizing some of that red tone I will set the rest of my face with a powder at the end powder so the powder I'm going to use is the cover effects powder and it's a translucent deep setting powder just set the rest of my face just a light setting what I could have used actually and if anybody else does this you could use the balance and brighten powder to set your face but again because I've got oily skin I do need to put in these just these extra steps just to make sure I don't break out too early into oils the mascara and see how the mascara looks I haven't put any under eye um, eyeliner on my lower lid because I just don't feel like doing that today actually so this is the mascara it's the glam lash mascara um i have as i said i have used this mascara before and i really liked it i mean i did get it in a collection again but i had to return it because the collection was so crap so that's what the mascara head looks like let's put some of this on yeah i like this mascara oh i like it a lot I don't think this kit's going to be going back somehow. This is good. Right, I'm just going to put some blush on. And the highlighter, I will use the Laura Geller um, Diamond Dust, which I love this one. It's a very vivid red colour. So you have to be really careful in how you use this because it is bright. Just put a little bit of lip liner on because I don't know what this lip balm's going to be like. Right, so this is the lip bar. This is what it looks like. Okay, let's put some of this on. <coughs> Not my kind of colour, but I've got the lip balm. I've got my lip liner on, so hopefully I can uh, sort it out a bit. As I was saying, what they call universal isn't universal for everybody. It's actually very moisturizing but again for those of us who have got deep skin tones you will need a, a deep a deep color lip liner this is my mac chestnut lip liner i think this looks all right as a as a daily look for work it's a it's a nice fresh look the foundation still feels very light i don't know how well it's going to last on my very oily skin so i will monitor that and i'll let you know and i will come back at the end of the day and do a review of how the um, foundation has done um so i'm going out to work today i am going to be inspecting a couple of kitchens um, one of the kitchens is a burger it's, it's, a, it's a burger king so it's not going to be too hot even though i'm going to be getting there at lunchtime which is never a good thing but um yeah it's not going to be too bad because it's actually a, a very large kitchen and they they keep it well ventilated and the next kitchen I'm doing is going to be a pub kitchen and I'm trying to remember what the place is like they've got large windows in there which they shouldn't have open but they probably will be so I'll probably be telling them off for it but hopefully I'm not going to be in there for I'm not going to be in the kitchen for longer than an hour so I'm probably going to spend about two and a half hours in the 
in hot kitchens today so it'll be interesting to see how this foundation withstands the heat um, it's not such a hot day today it looks like it's about 21 22 degrees but it'll be interesting to see how this foundation would have withstood the heat in the hot weather we had sort of a few weeks ago but so far it looks really good doesn't it looks all right I, I, I actually like this look so I'm just going to set my face I'm going to use oh people will be impressed I did buy wait a minute I'll just go and get it I did buy a MAC prep and prime what do you call it fix plus and I bought it in the mat I have never used a MAC fix plus before so this is my first time using it so let's give this a shake and it's got a it's got a locking device how do I do this oh you turn oh I see you turn it so you turn it and then let's spray this on, see how good it is. Right, all right. So I will see you in a few hours, probably in about six hours time because um, I've started late today. Actually, let me give you the time. So the time now is, oh God, it's 11.30. So by the time I get to the kitchen, it will be 12. Um, let's get the clock app up. So there you go. So I actually put the foundation on about 11 o'clock. Yeah, it was about 11 o'clock when I put the foundation on. So I should get about six hours of wear at least today. And then I'll let you know how this foundation has performed. But so far, I'm liking how it looks. But I will see you later. Right, hi, good afternoon. I am back. So I've been away for about Oh, right I don't know how long um, I think the foundation was applied about 11 o'clock it's now coming up to six o'clock let me show you the app so it's 10 to 6 so it's just shy of seven hours I've been wearing a foundation for so the foundation was the Laura Geller filter first luminous foundation I was wearing it in the in the shade mahogany which was the deepest shade available um, just to remind you I have got very 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 oily skin um, and I went to work today temperature outside it was about 22 degrees um, during my work I did inspect two very very warm kitchens um, during the height of their food preparation so I did do some sweating and I did have to pat my face down with sweat so what I'd like to do now is just to go through how the foundation has performed on my face using my top system and then um, I'll just give you my final thoughts on how this collection and the foundation did right so for those of you who have first time sort of seen one of my foundation reviews I'll just tell you what the top system is system I created <clears throat> and it stands for so the t stands for transfer to so see if the foundation transfers the o stands for oil control so above the foundation held back on my oils being produced the first p stands for performance so how the foundation um how it applied did it melt did it separate did it fade on my face you know all of that just looking at the long wearability of the foundation just all of that comes under performance in my in my eyes the second piece stands for the price what's the value of the foundation and the S stands for the shade range available so let's go through this shall we when I do the transfer and the oil I do those both together and I use blotting sheets let me just get hold of a pack of blotting sheets sorry so these are the blotting sheets I've got these from Amazon they're about five pounds five pounds six pounds the best foundations will use um, sort of no more than sort of two possibly going on to sort of three and blotting sheets but two was good um, anything more than three is when the foundation is just has no oil controlling properties at all um, so let me do this um, also when I do the use of blotting sheets if this if it does transfer it will show up on the blotting sheet as well so, let's do this. so this is sheet one okay so that's sheet one when i did my forehead justin there wasn't really much um foundation there was a little bit of oil but not much foundation a little bit of foundation but hardly any and that's just on this side of my face so that's not bad so that's sheet one sheet two okay and that's sheet two and i think really that's all i need so two sheets a little bit of foundation there is some oil on both sheets mainly on this one um three quarters on that side but definitely all over on this sheet that's not bad is it i'm actually surprised i didn't think this foundation would be able to 
withstand um, my oils on my face but this is not bad so I don't know if it's a combination of all the products I use that the, the uh, moisturizer and the primers but I'm pretty surprised so let's have a look okay yeah I didn't catch some of the oil there let me just get rid of that there okay so going by that there's hardly any foundation on there um in my work because I, I inspect kitchens or places that prepare food i wear a white coat and a white hat so there was a little bit of foundation transfer on the on the rim of my hat but i mean a little bit and again considering how hot it was and how much i was sweating i mean when i say sweating i mean i was dripping with sweat so considering how much oil and sweat that was being produced at the time yeah i'm not yeah i am actually proper surprised so i think for transfer i'm actually gonna give this like a i don't know nine and a half i'm not gonna say ten because it wasn't perfect but i'm gonna give it it's more than nine and i'm not sure if it's a nine and a half i'm gonna say 9.25 so nine and a quarter because i think this is pretty good all control well again i'm surprised at how well it's controlled my oils i mean yes i haven't been wearing it for a full eight hours which is what i really would like to test but just under seven hours and i have been in very hot conditions so it has been tested so for oil control considering this foundation doesn't claim to be an oil controlling foundation um i don't know how much of the result is um, attributed to the products i was used before using before so the moisturizer and the primers but what i'm seeing now is not bad i mean those of you who see my channel before you know how bad i can look at an end of the day this isn't bad especially after blotting and only two sheets so i think for oil control i'm going to give this um i'm going to give this a nine and a half i would like to test this out again because i can't believe the result i'm getting i don't know if it's because i'm cynical of laura geller's products but i am actually quite surprised at how well this is done for performance well i actually say this it applies beautifully it blended out properly no problems at all with the with the sponge and with a brush um there was no patchiness and no fading it has faded a little bit around the perimeter of my face where i'm sort of like touching my face all the time and where the hat was on my forehead because the hat comes down to about there on my forehead um so it has faded a little bit you can start you can start seeing a little bit of my skin starting to come through now on my face i don't know if you can see that can you let me just bring you in can you see so you can see the skin starting to show on my face coming through but it has faded gracefully sort of nicely and again considering the temperature and how warm it is out there this has performed pretty well again yeah i'm just looking at it. it does it looks good i mean yes it has faded so you can really see the mole on my face but my mole wasn't completely covered um earlier on anyway because it was giving me a sort of light medium coverage earlier on so i think it's, yeah this is not bad and again how the other products applied on top of it so my blush and my under eye highlighter you know all of that stuff all all the products applied no problems on my face at all so it worked well with other products so i think for performance i'm gonna give this again i'm gonna give this a 9.75 i'm coming with the funny numbers today but yeah i'm giving this a 9.75 it's not a 10 but it ain't a nine and a half it's more than that so a 9.75 um the price so the price by itself is 26 pounds if you bought the foundation by itself so that's equivalent to well it's the same price as a fenty um and i'd say it's equivalent to that um in performance i'd actually i think it's actually better performing than the fenty to be honest but the, the fenty does give me a more matte finish so it's it's equivalent if you want a more dewier look um what other foundations out there the other foundations i like the cover effects play it's 30 plus pounds um bare minerals pro bear pro that's 29 pounds so it's a little bit cheaper than that so i actually think for price for what it is and the market it's aiming itself at i think this is pretty good again so i'm going to give this a nine and a half out of ten because it's in that market where it lets itself down is the shade selection so um personally i found that i find the shade selection pretty it's just pretty rubbish in this day and age 12 shades is not good enough in this day and age we're looking for 25 at least 30 there is just no reason for that and when i say 30 i'm looking at sort of 
10 lights so your, your fares and your lights i'm looking for 10 medium so your mediums and your tans and i'm looking for 10 dark and deep you know what i mean so i want i want a nice gradient of shades right across the board yes you will not find a shade for everybody but i would like to see an even spread of shades right across the board rather than sort of 75 percent of the shades in the in the light white skin colors and that as an add-on throwing a couple of deep skin shades and again undertones undertones aren't fantastic i mean again looking at the reviews on the qvc website everyone seems to complain about the undertones of the foundations saying that they were orange or too pink or too dark i found this shade which was the deepest shade i found it had a very um, orange red undertone which again this is um, something you find in brands that just have a lack of understanding in how deep skin shades work you know because no we we have different undertones as well we're not all just brown we have different shades of brown and we have different undertones of brown as well so they'll be they'll be olive they'll be gold they'll be neutral they'll be red they'll even be blue you know what i mean so there are different undertones that we that need to be considered for us as well so just to put the blanket red undertone wasn't great so what i had to do today was neutralize it with an under eye concealer and sort of some baking as well so it did work so i think for shade um for me the one today it was fine but i think the shade range available is not great so i think i'm going to give it a five out of ten for the shade range but overall that's not a bad performing foundation 26 pounds yeah it's, it's not bad for what it is it is available from qvc by itself so you can buy the product by itself for 26 pounds and i think it's three pound 95 purchase and packaging so you are looking at sort of the 30 pound range really which that's the market is placing itself in um the mascara is fine i have no problems with the mascara i think i said earlier that i loved it and i did like the lip balm that wore off in no time but i did like the lip balm it was very moisturizing so overall it's, it's a decent foundation if you can find the shade close to you and you can modify it to make it work with you it's worth a go um i'd say this foundation is particularly for people who have got um dry to maybe combination skin if you've got oily skin like myself you're gonna have to do stuff to make it work but i wouldn't say this foundation is particularly for really for dry skin because when they say luminous that's what people tend to think it's going to be for dry skin because it's going to be dewy it's going to be hydrating i actually wonder if this foundation because it did dry down to a skin like finish on me which means that that should be quite mattifying on other people so I, I would actually wonder if this foundation on dry skin if it would go into sort of like wrinkles or fine lines if it would seep into that and enhance those fine lines just something worth considering but let me know if you've tried it let me know what your experience with the foundation is like and you know if you're interested in buying it yeah just tell me why you're thinking about trying it look at the um look at the presenters on the qvc channel because if you look at the products on the qvc channel they do show a video of the presentation um, and take what they say with a pinch of salt so again and look at the review so think about the undertones and think about the product finish think about how it's performed on my oily skin and check out other people who have got dry skin how it's performed for them but overall i'm not going to give this a double thumbs up i'm just going to give it a one of those thumbs up but let me know what you think hmm? okay right i'm off because i'm gonna have dinner now and start editing all these videos i've done today because i did the birch box and i've done this video so i need to edit those and get those up so i'd like to say thank you very much for watching if you haven't given me a like as yet go on off you go you know what to do with your fingers give me a like and if you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for get down there press that subscribe button and whilst you're there you might as well press that notification bell as well because that will notify you when i do my next upload and before i go just to remind you i am doing a giveaway for this month of august and the giveaway is the asos august beauty box so i am giving that away to enter that you need to be one uh, subscriber to my channel for at least a month and two you need to enter a comment on the ASOS video itself not this one on the ASOS video right that's it thank you very much for watching I will see you soon